welcome to the A Planet video on the resources on the website. Now the first thing we're going to notice is that the website is actually in 11 languages so you can actually choose the language that you want to access the resources in that suits your needs. Now first thing we're going to do is look at the resources and we'll go to the resources page. This is the introduction to the resources and you'll find this menu over here on the side that takes you into the individual areas of the resources. Now we're at, currently on the resources home and we're going to click on the Get Involved page. Now the Get Involved page is broken into four areas. Uh, resources for everybody, resources for mentors, resources for mentees and the self-access courses down here. So we'll quickly look at all of those. All the way through you'll find that there's pre and post use questionnaires for the typical the type of resources that we you wish to access and it's very important that you actually complete those questionnaires to help the project in the resources for everyone you'll find the methodology guide which is a summation of everything that's been done in the project uh, identification of appropriate social network communities case studies a glossary of terms and the online and offline workshop program that of course you can use as well and there's also two videos here on using professional social networks and personal learning networks. In the mentor areas you'll see there's how to be a mentor and mentee guides and of course the questionnaires again. For mentees those are teachers who are new to the social networks you'll find there's a mentee guide and in the self-access courses well there's three actually there on how to use Twitter how to use Facebook and how to use Ning's. Now the next area we'll look at is the ICT tools and here you'll find that we have 25 different tools listed each one of those with a, uh, a template describing how they can be used in education and you'll also see there's an introductory video here to introduce those type of tools. Finally we'll have a look at the teacher guides. Now this is a very long document you can take it as a full document or just in one of the four areas that we've broken it up into. So I hope these resources will be useful for you and we look forward to you completing the questionnaires so we can see how you and what you thought of them. Thank you.